I've got you under my... Oh, hi there. It's a beautiful day in Lawrence, Kansas. And right back behind me here is Foy Brown. Foy Brown is a maker of men. Little bitty men. Foy has always let his work do his talking for him. Over 40 years ago, blocks of basswood began taking on mischievous personalities under his touch. Back in the late 1800s, his father was Professor Charles E. Brown, ventriloquist extraordinaire. Foy followed as closely as the professor would let him. Uh, yeah, of course, he, uh, he always said one fool is enough in the show business. <laughs> So he said he used to tell everybody he poured ice water on Foy so he wouldn't get in the show business. This kind of business goes on for about three or four days before it gets the right shape. <laughs> Mr. Brown, do dummies have to look like real people? No, sir. The bigger variation we get in characters and such, the better. I uh, started looking in the mirror right early in my life and I was carving figures, <laughs> and that's how we get them all different. <laughs> well, they don't quite look like you. <laughs> No, they better not. <laughs> that wouldn't do. <laughs> do they ever talk to you while you're working on them? Oh, yes, they do. You know, I want to see what he looks like when you get him all completed. You do? Yeah, I sure do. <laughs> all right. <laughs> he ran out of names years ago, but never out of faces and personalities. He's as classical as his work. What are you doing out here? Why, well, we're sunning the cells. Getting ready for TV, I know. I know. In Lawrence, Kansas, with Foy Brown, this is Andy Johnston. Say, you sure did real good. Thank you. The dummy didn't do too bad on your side either. Thanks a lot. I appreciate that. <laughs>